Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics and today I prepared two multiple choice questions for you so I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions and choose your answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, here is the first question. The total aggregate of alleles in population is referred to as an answer A gene pool B. Allelic frequency, C. The genotypic frequency and the um, genetic structure, answer D, and E. None of this. And I hope that everyone uh, were able to answer this uh, question correctly because I think this is very easy. And this is answer A. So the total aggregate of alleles in population is referred to as gene pool. And all the rest answers just uh, do not relate to this uh, question directly. So uh, next question is which of the following would cause deviation from the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium? And uh, once again here are the five answers. Answer A small population, B isolated population, C random mating, D lack of selection pressure, and E, no mutations. And uh, this time I want to give you more detailed uh, answer because this is not just about remembering, this is about understanding. So E, no mutations, actually Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium um, means that there shouldn't be mutations and uh, in the um, population. So. Uh, this is one of the requirements, as long as answer D, lack of uh, selection pressure, this is uh, also one of the requirements of the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, uh, the stable society where all the genetic frequencies doesn't change from one generation to another one. So uh, lack of selection pressure is one of the requirements. And C, random mating, is also one of the requirements because if there are going to be a assortative mating, that means that uh, with each following generation, some of the uh, alleles would become less and less frequent because some of the uh, phenotypes would be preferential and uh, phenotype also means genotype. Of course, um, animals, as long as people, when uh, we um, mate assortatively uh, and all of us almost uh, do some kind of uh, assortative mating because we choose between uh, races, we choose between um, some ages and uh, I'm not even talking about um, facial features or some may have uh, preferences like uh, educational background and so on. So the same applies to the animal world also, because uh, in animal world most of the matings, depending on the phenotype, and uh, phenotype uh, also means uh, genotype, because uh, phenotype depends on the genotype. So random mating would be one of the requirements for the population to stay in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So we left uh, only two answers, so we can uh, cross out uh, all the rest answers. And because all the rest answers would be uh, requirements for the population to stay in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, so answer B isolated population and uh, isolated population and answer a small population uh, sometimes it's hard to choose because isolated population usually means that this is a small population and in small population um, there can be um, genetic drift but actually uh, isolated population doesn't always mean a small population. For example, consider uh, Japanese uh, 200 years ago 
where they were isolated from the rest of the world and there was self-isolation but still they were in a Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium if we can say so to the human society because this is actually idealized uh, formula for ideal population where there is no migration and uh, mutation so uh, we have to exclude small population because uh, in small population there can be migration the size uh, doesn't tell us that there is no migration but isolated population if it is large enough uh, with no uh, migration would give us idealized uh, population that would be in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium where from one generation to another generation uh, there would be stability in the uh, allelic frequency so our choice for the second answer would be B and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye